a little bit bad. Yeah, come on in. We're going to talk about the Lion King here. This does have spoilers if y'all want to see it. So, just going to go in, drop the metaphysics. up here What's up, Kazak? What's up, Lil Stride? I hadn't started yet. Just letting, them, letting people come in. What's up, other Jeremy? <laughs> Another minute and we'll get started. Succession of original Disney movies. Four in a row, I think. I think it's now it's three in a row. You had Aladdin, you had Toy Story, now you got the Lion King. <laughs> so Disney's on the road. They're dropping all their classics right now. But interestingly enough, why they dropped them all at the same time. You see what I'm saying? They're dropping them all at the same time for a reason. If Aladdin was all about the 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 
know, the rising up of a uh, uh, Jedi, Magi coming in, trying to find his way, become the new Jedi on the block, Magi on the block. And Toy Story was about the passing of the torch. Then, of course, we got to have the Lion King where the king takes the throne. So, where's the Lion King about? It's a story about a father and his son and how tragedy struck and his father was taken before his time or killed prematurely and the son was left to fend for himself as they was uh, they both were betrayed by uh, Mufasa's uncle, right? Now, this is based more off the uh, the the Aset and a soft story or Isis and Osiris with Set or Soot is his, is his original name and we, we're we dealing with Osiris and Isis' son Heru and how he has to go to war with his uncle over uh, you know rulership of the kingdom now what happens here we start off with Mufasa, you know, teaching his son the way, teaching him about the circle of life and how everything is interconnected, the web of life. What's up, Miss Mimi? Teaching him how uh, how everything works, how every being has its place, how every every uh, thing feeds into everything else and help everything else grows and lives and breathes. You see what I'm saying? That's the circle of life. Now. Um, what happened is Scar is jealous of his brother's rulership, of course. Scar being sick, or soot in this case, and he wants it at all costs, right? He wants his rulership at all costs, whatever it takes, right? And he's, he, he wants it so badly that he's willing to kill his own brother for it, even though he, even though Mufasa wanted fair and square, you see what I'm saying? What's up, Brian? You see what I'm saying? So even though he won the throne fair and square, he, he, he Scott is not satisfied. So what goes on? What goes down here? He turns to their enemy, which were the hyenas. The hyenas were, you know, a group of beings who could control their appetites and. They killed so much that their land became barren, right? So, Scar set in motion a set of events that would lead to his successorship to the throne. I'll, I'll be unlawfully because it was done against the traditional code. You see what I'm saying? In order for you to become king, you have to defeat the king. Well, he did in, in a one on one battle, he didn't do that. Instead, he went behind his back and killed him um, in his time of need. You see what I'm saying? He set all that up to get him destroyed. So, after Scott kills Mufasa, then he chases Simba away. Simba now, you know, the young Heru, now has to find his way again uh, as an outcast. You see what I'm saying? And, he, and what's worse, the psychological side of it is, Scar teaches, Scar tells uh, Simba that it's his fault that uh, this happened, even though it was all Scar's doing. Scar don't want to lead him to the gorge. Scar don't want to set him up. Because Simba thought he was teaching him how to find his inner raw. And he, although he was tapping into it, it was all a setup. So, what goes down here? Since now that Simba an outcast, you know, he's traveling in the desert. And you know, you dealing with the desert. You dealing with the desert in your mind. You know, you know. You did. You, you work some shit out. You see what I'm saying? You know you done fucked up. You know you done, you done, you done lost your way. So you trying to figure it all out again. How 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 I get back there? How how I get how I find my way again? Well, he he collapses in the desert. You know, and he runs into Timon and Puma. You know, Timon and Puma's being his homies. Um, shows him takes him off his path and teaches him the uh, Akuna Matata, which is which means no worry. So 
he's for the next few years just lives a regular life, a simple life. You see what I'm saying? But it's a lie. You see what I'm saying? I, although we understand that that's what he needs in that moment because you know that's all he had. He had to grow up. He had to do what need to be done. He had to do what he needed to do to survive. We all knew that it was a lie. At some point, he had to get back on his path and do what needed to be done. So Nala, which was his girlfriend, which was segment, you know, uh, she 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 uh, at this point, Scar then destroyed. Hey, how you doing? Scar Scar then destroyed uh, the 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 kingdom. Right? They they was overhunting, and so everything became desolate. And they show you what happens when <laughs> you don't respect the web of life. You see what I'm saying? They 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 show you what happens with this. They 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 show you uh, what happens when you destroy it all. You see what I'm saying? It was barren. It was empty. It it wasn't even grass anymore. It was just carcasses and corpses. You see what I'm saying? There was, there was no balance. The the world had become unbalanced. So what happens next? What happens next is uh, Nala journeys out to, to to find help for their for their tribe, and she finds out that uh, that that symbol is a lie. She runs into him, and it blows her mind. Like nigga, where you been for the past such such amount of years? Why haven't you come back? And and uh, symbol, you know, him being guilty or feeling guilty that he thinks that he killed his father. He didn't return. You see what I'm saying? He 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 he's suffering from guilt or the burden of uh, it being his fault or him thinking that it's his fault that he killed his father. You see what I'm saying? So 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 he was like, nah, I can't even go back now. You know, they, even though she was like, we need you, we need you, we need you to become king, cause Scott fucked this shit up. You see what I'm saying? He pretty much destroyed the balance. You see what I'm saying? And now everything is dying off. So. What happens? Um, after they get through talking and she leaves or whatever, he runs into the baboon, which is Tehuti. You know, Thoth, as y'all know, who who represents thought or wisdom. And so what he does next, he goes and uh, he takes him on his spiritual journey and teaches him who he really is. He was like, hey man, I lost my father, so what now? And he was like, I'll take you to your father. So he takes him to the pond and what did he show him? He showed him a reflection of his father, and he told him, you are your daddy. You are your ancestors. You see what I'm saying? You are your own lineage. You see what I'm saying? It lives within you. It lives in the blood. The creed lives within you. You cannot kill the creed. It, li it, lives, within, it lives within you. You see what I'm saying? So, 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 this is what happens here. So, 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 this, this is what happens. So, it, it's funny that, um... When he realized this mistake, he was like, okay, what I need to do now? What I need to do now? And he tells him, and he tells him that uh, he needs to, he needs to, uh, it's time you get your shit together. So the, the, the baboon asked him, who are you? He said, I'm Simba, son of Mufasa. And that's when, that's when he reactivated. That, that's when, now he back online. Now he about this life again. And finally we get to see what it's all about. You see what I'm saying? So he goes back to his kingdom. He goes back home. And what what, what does he see? He see the desolation. He see the destruction. He was like, I didn't want to believe you, Nala, that he fucked it up this much. Like this is this is this is pure destruction, pure ruin. This ain't even a kingdom. It's a it's a it's a it's a wasteland. You see what I'm saying? So, you know, series of events happen and uh, he goes and, you know, he fights Scott for the succession of the throne. Of course, he defeats him and, you know, and he re he returned balance to the force. You see what I'm saying? So, so this is the hero's journey. This is the Heru Chronicles. Heru fought Set after he killed Osiris and he defeated Set. And he rose to the throne. You see what I'm saying? He rose back to the throne. He regained his successorship. You see what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? And like they showed in the movie, he married Sickman. You see what I'm saying? In one storyline, anyway. And in this one, he, he married Sickman, which is novel. So, 
This this is what this is what the Lion King is all about. This, this, the Lion King remind us never to give up on ourselves. Always be in tune with our inner warrior, inner fierceness. You see, inner fierceness. You see what I'm saying? Uh, no matter what we go through, even when we in our hardest struggles. Matter of fact, when you in your hardest struggle, that's when you need it the most. So always feed and and and, and keep and, and sharpen the edges of your warrior energy. You see what I'm saying? Do meditation, do battle meditations, you know. Train martial arts in your mind, you see what I'm saying? In your, in your mind's eye, picture you in a dojo, practicing, training, growing, building up your strength and your internal power, learning to fight from within, you see what I'm saying? So, 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 this, this is what Simba had to remember. He had to learn how to fight from within again. And with that inner strength, he was able to conquer his uncle, you see what I'm saying? So, so, so it's a classic Osirian myth storyline, you know, written very well, done very well. You see what I'm saying? Uh, it was a great story. I, I especially like the scene where he talked to his father in the clouds, because, like his father told him, I, we are all interconnected in life and in death, and we never die. You see what I'm saying? So even through nature, he was able to communicate with his his son. You see what I'm saying? So he told him in the beginning, like, nah, uh, uh, the stars in the sky are just your ancestors. You see what I'm saying? Just souls. You see what I'm saying? Because the soul, uh, he was saying that because the souls out there is a reflection of the souls within you. You see what I'm saying? So that's that's what he was telling him. That's what he was trying to teach him. So, 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 this this is what it was about. This, this is the, the Lion King, the Osirian story, the Hiru story, story of the champion deity, F going out there fighting, uh, find, trying to find your way. You see what I'm saying? Overcome and, and become who you're supposed to be. Whether you're a king, royalty, whether you're an artist, whether you're a scientist, whether you're an engineer or an inventor. You see what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? Magi. It don't matter. As long as you follow your hero's path and listen to your inner guidance and intuitions, you'll always find your way. you always find your way. You see what I'm saying? So that's that's what this is about. That's what this is about. So it's a good, good movie. Go check it out. You know, watch it. It's pretty, pretty decent. It reminds you of what uh, the, the, the struggles we all have to go through to get to where we need to be. So this is what this is about. So this ain't gonna make this too long. Just wanted to drop that on you. Let you know what it is. See you know what I'm saying? Just want just want y'all to hear that. Just wanted to break down these Heru Chronicles. You know, what he went through to become the the guy Heru, the true, the true and living Heru. Took his throne and ruled and ruled Egypt and led Egypt into a uh golden age. You see what I'm saying? New golden age. That that that's the story here. So yeah. Yeah, so this this this, this classic here. So, so don't don't think don't take it for granted. These movies are visual visual grimoires telling you you telling you mystical stories. You see what I'm saying? Giving you metaphysical storylines that resonates with your inner deity within. And they always telling you don't forget to fight from within for what you love, for what you enjoy, for what you care for. You see what I'm saying? So with that being said. Uh, yeah, I have any questions? Do y'all have any questions? I get up off it. of Aisha.
Jeremy Trust, what do I feel about melanin energy training? You know, you work with your melanin muscle, you learn how to harness your melanin muscle, so you can do what needs to be done when, it, when the time comes for it. That's what melanin training is. So learn how to tune into that dark spiritual energy that empowers, that empowers the whole universe, that source melanin. See what I'm saying? So, yeah, you can easily tap into that. Picture yourself in a black hole. Picture it spinning around you. Picture you, you fucking pulling energies out of that black hole into your hand and molding it into what you want it to be. A dark energy ball. Then projecting that energy out of your hand. No different than um, Goku shooting out the Kamehameha way. You see what I'm saying? So, and this, this, is a good, this is a good training exercise for you to build up your melanin powers. You see what I'm saying? So, so yeah. Any other questions? questions before I get up out of here. Well, Alright y'all. I'm Marvin Jones. Y'all share this with your friends. Put the word out there. And I'm out.